<laughs> hey guys, it's Kelly, and I'm so excited to bring you a 2021 Volkswagen Tiguan tour today. If you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know I'm a huge fan of the Alice. So how does her little sister do? That's what we're gonna find out. If this is your first time joining me. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm the car mom. Make sure you give me a follow on Instagram because I post a lot more car related content there. Also subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting a tour a week and give this video a thumbs up because you're already here. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you are in the market for a car, definitely make sure you check out my car buying workbook. It's an interactive workbook that walks you through the car buying process, gives you a scoring guide, gives you a budgeting tool and helps you make the best decision for your family. All right, let's get started. So let's start with the exterior. It looks very similar to the Volkswagen Atlas, as I was expecting. One of the major differences is this belt line right here. Instead of kind of going up over the wheel well, it just stays consistent and straight. I actually like that better. I think it's got some great body lines. It looks very sporty. It's got some beautiful roof rails. The wheels are actually pretty nice, especially for the size of a vehicle. I think they look great. The front end, I do find a little bit basic. Um, some of the other cars out there are doing like some crazy headlights, like the Palisade. This car is just like, it's a headlight. Some very subtle hood lines up here. And that's the exterior. I think it looks good. And then just coming around to the back end, again, very simple. I would maybe like to see Volkswagen just play a little bit more with their headlights and taillights, especially with some of the competitors, like I mentioned. Um, but you know, basic taillights and a little bit of badging right here. You know, they're actually keeping it down here instead of like spelling it out double space like every other manufacturer is doing at the moment. Okay, so here's a shot of me in the driver's seat. So. You know, I'm pretty comfortable. It's definitely more of that compact SUV feeling. I don't feel like I'm driving a truck. I'm not sitting up too high, but I still have some decent room. As far as my amenities go from the driver's perspective, the side cubbies in this car are absolutely fabulous. Very deep. I forgot my water bottle, sorry, but here's like a Kate Spade wallet. Like it buries it. You can't even see it anymore, which is awesome for the size of this car. I also love that I can pop the trunk right from here. I think that's awesome. Um, really, we've got a little extra like sunglass compartment right here. So some good driver's amenities from this side. Let me get you into the car and we'll talk about this side. All right, so let's talk about some of the interior design elements. One thing I like about German brands, especially Volkswagen, is they do keep it very simple on the interior without keeping it cheap. So from a mom's perspective, I like that this car doesn't have a lot of contrasting elements, but I, to me, it still looks simple, but it doesn't look plasticky. It's very easy to keep clean and I really like that. Um, we've got a little bit of like change compartment area up here. The SEL does come with a digital dash, which I love digital displays just for how customizable they are and just how they look. Um, on this one, you can actually completely change the view. So you can decide like which information you want visible, which I think is kind of cool. And then I go into the infotainment system. Again, it's exactly like um, the Atlas. So I'm not gonna get too far into this one. It's very similar. It also comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So when a car has that feature, which almost every car now, this day does. I don't really care too much about the convenience of here because I would always use my Apple CarPlay. We do have a wireless charger and two USB C's, which maybe I'm like literally the last person to come to the game, but I guess that's how we charge our phones now. The USBs are over. So I guess I have to get new chargers now. I don't, I don't know. We've got heated seats and a heated steering wheel in this vehicle or in this trim level. We do have a Pano sunroof, which is awesome. I can show you that in a second. A tiny mirror, but you know, it's fine. It's a tiny-ish car. The cup holders, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping they'd be the exact same as the Atlas. They're quite a bit smaller though. This is just like a regular soda, which obviously these fit fine. But I mean, my Atlas cup holders are, they're special to me. Oh, we forgot about this major disappointment. This is the center council. It is the tiniest little thing I'd ever seen in my life. That's it. Okay, bye. That's all you can keep in there. Like I couldn't fit a diaper in there. And I mean, again, I know this is like a more compact SUV. I'm not expecting it to have a full size center console, but that is the tiniest little dink I've ever seen in my life. Let's check out the glove box. I mean, and that's a decent sized glove box in comparison. And the side cubbies are great. It's just, side cubbies are great. I'm just hoping, I'm wishing this was a little bit bigger. Okay, another thing I wanted to point out was just kind of my room from the passenger perspective. So I have a big size purse here. I still have enough room and I'm like pretty comfortable with this. I also have an additional little net part right here, so. All right, so here's a shot of me in the second row. I have set the driver's seat for myself, I'm about 5'11", six feet tall, with heels on. And I still have 
so much room right now. I'm actually very impressed with the amount of room I have. I mean, really nice. This seat I do have pushed all the way back. So we're gonna get to the third row in a second. I'm very nervous just based on the looks of it, but you can move this seat up to accommodate for more leg space in the third row. So if I move this, okay, this is with this seat all the way up and I, my knees are hitting the back. So that's not great. It is a split bench. So these two seats move and then this seat moves on its own. So that's nice. As far as my backseat amenities go, obviously that panoramic sunroof comes nicely into the backseat to let in some natural light. I have some deep side cubbies again, excited about that. And then I've got my own vents, but they are the tiny, tiniest vents. They're little tiny, tiny vents. I've got some lights and I've only got one USB, USB-C. And then I've got a little cup holder right here as well. So I mean, my amenities are okay. I can't believe only one USB right there. And what is this thing for? This like little shelf of a thing. What is it for? What do I put there? A quarter? I mean, I don't, what's it for? Let us know. Let me know in the comments below if you know what it's for. Let's chat about the car seat. So I have brought my Graco extended fit and I've installed it rear facing. Quick little rundown of the car seat set up in the Tiguan. Across the bench, there's two sets of lower anchors and then three tether anchors across the bench. So anyway, I have this seat set for myself and I do have a little bit of clearance. I have probably about two and a half, three inches with the gray coax and if it installed rear facing. I do really like the car seat clips or the car seat lower anchors in this car because they're exposed, which makes installing car seats a lot easier. All right, let's talk about third row access. I'm very nervous to get this third row. I, I've never sat in the third row. So you're gonna get my live reaction. Is that it? Is that what I have to do? Okay, that's it. Okay. I'm like this, I'm, taller than the vehicle that I'm about to climb into what literally looks like. Come get a shot of what I'm about to climb into. I'm nervous. Okay. Well, lucky for me, they've installed this nice little foot stepper. I think I can get in the third row without my foot even leaving the ground. Oh my gosh! No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh my, oh no. <laughs> Look at my knees. My knees are pushed against it. I can't even put, I'm getting claustrophobic. <laughs> no, move it up a little. I understand that this third row is not designed for a full size adult like myself. So I'm just trying to give you like a vibe. But like no, no, ow, no. <laughs> but good news is I have a cup holder, but only on this side. Nothing for me. I. You know, I don't know what you want me to say. The seats are rock hard as well. Volkswagen has a little bit firmer seats, but this third row, it's like, they're like, what What materials are left? Just shove them back there. I mean, these, these seats are definitely different quality than those seats. Did it. The trunk goes up so high, I like it. Here's what we're working with when the third row is up. So not a lot of trunk space a shelf i've honestly seen worse though in some other vehicles so i'm actually pretty okay with that this puts the second row down which is very handy to put these rows down you just have to grab this little pinchy thing and then that's the trunk space we're working with which is a good amount of trunk space i am healthy i am wealthy <laughs> so i mean that looks awesome i still have enough for like a week's worth of groceries with my stroller that's super impressive. Okay, Tiguan. Okay. Just after like driving this around for a second, I really like how the steering wheel is a little flatter right here. I don't know why, that just like is more comfortable to hold that way. Okay, sorry I forgot to put my outro for the Tiguan, but overall, I actually like the car a lot for a five passenger vehicle. Like really enjoy it. It has everything I like about the Alice in a five passenger car. The trunk space is awesome. The room for rear facing car seats is great. A seven passenger car, I mean, I feel like it very much is what it is. Uh, and I find the frustrating part about it is it's like if you had car seats in the second row, it makes it even harder to use the third row. Uh, one, because you can't access it and because then you can't really push those second row bench any more forward. So I don't love the third row. I probably, if you're looking for a seven passenger car, even if you don't think you're gonna use a seven passenger all the time, I still probably wouldn't go with the Tiguan. Um, but for a five passenger option, I think it's fabulous. Hey everyone, this is Elizabeth, Kelly's younger sister and video editor. I'm gonna go ahead and take over this build your own just because she does not have time to get it done. 
So, um, build your own of the Tiguan. I'm going to go ahead and choose the SEL version. Um, choosing that because it has that digital display that Kelly loves, as well as just some additional comfort features. So, that's the one we're going to go with. As far as the engine goes, I'm just going to stick with the 2-liter turbo 8-speed automatic. I don't really need the 4-motion for any reason. What I love about the color options is that you get quite a few and there's no additional cost for any of them. So you really just pick whatever you like. I'm going to go with this sort of like tealy blue. I think that's a lot cuter than this metallic blue. For the interior, it comes in storm gray or titan black. But I'm sort of biased towards lighter interior. That's just what I personally like. But what's really great about this specific light interior is that it has a lot of darker contrast on other areas where you know you could get muddy feet spilled juice boxes etc so i think that it gives me that light interior that interior that i like while also allowing it to stay clean so i'm gonna go with the white kelly's gonna hate me but i'm gonna do it we're going rogue all right and then as far as additional options Kills me that they charge $87 for a baby mirror. They do know you can get those off Walmart for like 16 bucks, right? You know, I don't think I'm going to add anything else. Okay, well, that was super easy. So that brings my total for my to go on to $33,740. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below about which car I should tour next. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.